Aries. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Oh, the tower flipped out. All right, Aries. So also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, oh yeah, that's below as well. All right, Aries. Um, immediate future, please. Happy birthday to you guys, by the way. All right, what's coming up for Aries? I've seen that. Uh, it looked like for some, it, well, remember it's a general reading, but somebody was getting real nervous around a third party situation. Yeah, this could be something with the hermit right there. That's Virgo energy, and that also could have to do with, like, something online, on the computer, uh, technology type stuff, uh, online mainly. But you got the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Looks like somebody's getting nervous around a third-party situation. For some, it could be be something around uh work as well now let me tell you so i understand that all are involved in third party and it may not be a reading but sometimes with the third party it can be like an external factor so say like um <clears throat> say like you were gonna go buy a car right and you gotta get financing so they outsource that finance and third party but, um, let's see. Show me this Eight of Swords. Around love. You know, this is more of a third party. Show me the Eight of Swords here. For Aries. You got the Eight of Cups. So, Eights represent change. And they represent movement. That's also how we kind of, like, attain what we want. So, I mean, it just kind of looks like worried about walking away from something. Um, there could, uh, the Queen of Cups could be a, a, a water sign. Ten of Cups is down here as well. So, I mean, in general, it feels like emotions are tied in over here. And somebody's pretty wrapped in their head here. Somebody could have walked away. It depends how this is going to resonate because, you know, it's... It feels like there's a separation, there's a distance, there's been some type of pain. But because it's like coming up as third party, um, you know, kind of take it, take it how it resonates. Yeah, somebody could have kind of, all right, it's almost like, I want to say stop trying, but hasn't really, with the four of cups there, and the eight of cups is kind of like somebody's walked away, disconnected from a situation. There's pain or 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 separation, but somebody's not really budging towards that. It's like a rejected offer. Show me this three of pentacles for Aries, please. It looks like some yeah, I mean somebody's getting really caught in their head here. There's also, I mean, there's feelings involved, but it's led to a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. Why is that Nine of Swords here? It's led to a lot of um, paranoia is how it's coming across. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you got the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, but that's associated with Venus. Any of the world Capricorn energy. It's almost like a fear of change is here big time on someone's side. Um, somebody could have ghosted. There's a lot of pain that's also been created. Um, but it also for some may have uh, caused like financial issues or financial setbacks. Because it's possible like somebody's ghosting here.
what it's really coming down to is, you know, there's an external factor that's involved here. Um, and the fear of change is, is real. So it feels like, you know, on one side, somebody's kind of pulled back their energy, maybe even completely went silent. Show me that seven of swords for the outcome, please. The ten of wands. Tell me more about this outcome for Aries, please. The Ten of Wands is, I mean, it's a, it's a, the ability to make changes there, it is, you know, it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work. I'm going to see how this is. Uh-oh, you got the Ace of Swords there. It's like something maybe getting revealed. That Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Tell me more about that Ace of Swords. Yeah, the Devil. Again, Capricorn energy. This is almost like a situation, something that keeps going on repeat. The fact that we got the devil there. Here we had the world. So it looks like, you know, somebody is worried about change, but is trying to put like limitations with on, within the situation. Boundaries. Why is the devil there? The King of Pentacles could be a, um, an earth sign, but also just in general, the King of Pentacles and the devil can be um, a couple of ways. It can be somebody who's like really trying to hold on to this as well. This could have something to do around like finances and security. You know, somebody is kind of like, a, this is mine. I don't want to lose it type energy so it, it's almost coming off like a a revealing something and then working to try to make it to try to make it right yeah the queen of wands that's your energy especially like if your money is real um kind of good um because you may have gotten fed up and kind of uh, disconnected from the situation as well. It looks like this person is pretty freaking stuck on you. Like, does not want to let you go. You may have other options, but it looks like somebody's returning here. But there also may be something that's kind of revealed along the way. The fact that we're ending with the Two of Pentacles, that's still... <clears throat> You know, something that's kind of up in the air or still in limbo, back and forth, one foot in, one foot out. This could be, um, yeah, with the Six of Cups, the Three of Cups, this looks like a past person. It could be somebody that you have kids with or like a friends with benefit situation. Could also have to do a dating with that, with that energy as well. Just be mindful who you're sharing your beautiful energy with. Because you definitely have choices. You have options. And I don't mean just people. I mean, you know, paths. Alright, Aries. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.